Hey guys, uh, today we're going to install a new fuel pump and we're going to install some new injectors. And the fuel pump I'm running is a Walbro 255, uh, which is an uh, inexpensive and popular replacement for the stock fuel pump. Uh, it just requires a few modifications, but all you really need is a fuel pump and the install kit. And we're also going to install some injectors, which I have some 42 pound injectors, which should be enough to feed enough fuel. Uh, for my power goals, which is about 300 to 350. These are really simple to install, and I'll show you guys how to knock out both of those today. So let's start by taking out the rear seats to get to the stock fuel pump, and we'll go take that out right now. There you go. There's just two tabs at the bottom right here right here and they connect right there and that's all that connects the bottom seat together cool. let's pull this out of the car Not gonna take it. oh wow my bad <laughs> all right this right here on the passenger side is where the stock fuel pump is so we're just gonna take off this cover i've never actually took off the fuel pump in this car specifically gasket's in really good shape. So, pretty much, there's some notches on the sides, and so you get a flathead here, and then you hammer it, and it rotates it, and this already rotated quite a bit, and that's actually it. Alright, well, let's go take this out of the car and figure out what to do next. Alright, so now we're just going to disassemble the stock pump. So we're just going to start by unplugging these. out of the way. There you go. So that's out of the way. So this is the only thing you'll need for the new pump. Uh, this is just the old pump and the old sock and all that and we're gonna be replacing that with new parts anyways. So all right so we're gonna take this off and replace it with this piece right here which came supplied on the kit. So this is the stock one. That can come off. And this piece will go on instead. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yep, there you go. That fits nice. And just like that, we have that on. There you go. Alright, so this is the pigtail that came with the fuel pump, and we just went and butt connected it on to the uh, stock wiring. Uh, the kit came with the butt connector, so I guess it wouldn't hurt to use them. So, now I just gotta throw on that sock, and I think we're done. Uh, one thing we forgot was to take off this bottom bracket, uh, so I just... Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I already weakened it a little bit, but I just went back and forth, and uh, it breaks off right there. So, don't need that anymore. It gets in the way of the, the new sock and the new bottom for the new fuel pump. The new, new, new. So that's it for the fuel pump assembly. We got the new one in, new sock, uh, new connectors, and now we're using this hose clamp to secure it to the stock little bar right here. So time to throw this back in there and uh, the fuel pump will be done. Let's go do that right now. Now it's time for reassembly. Just gotta fit this on in there. Goodbye fuel pump. Oh man, this hose clamp's too big. <laughs> oh. I think we might need to do something about this little hose clamp. All right, so we just replaced it with some zip ties that I tightened the hell out of. Uh, I wish I had the right hose clamp, but 
we both agreed that this should work. I used some pliers to even tighten it even more. And it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. There we go. Make sure it's lined up. Alright. That looks to be it. Now I gotta plug in, I think this is the level sensor. Yeah, the leveler. Leveler. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, to measure the fuel level. Yeah. There you go. little things. So that's it for the fuel pump. Now let's go ahead and do the uh, fuel injectors. one piece of the puzzle out of the way and over here as you can see there's a, a 10 millimeter bolt right here that's what connects the fuel rail to the intake manifold so there's also one 10 mil over here as well so just got to get those out of the way and uh, we should be good But oh shit! All right, so bad news. But the little plastic tip for the, one of the injectors, or for two of the injectors actually, which look like this, uh, they stayed inside the intake manifold. So we got to pull off the intake manifold to get them out. Um, yeah, these damn little tips fell out. But no worries, it's just the intake manifold. So we're gonna go get that out right now. All right, so the thing that happened was. These little caps that normally go on the injectors, on the tips of them, they were stuck into here, which is where the injectors go. And when I was trying to get them out earlier, it fell into the actual head. And luckily, it didn't get, it just stayed on top of the valve, so I just pulled it off, but that was scary. So, got that off. Now we're just gonna install the injectors while that's out and then throw it all back together. So much extra work. So the new injectors are in. It took a lot longer than expected because the little tips of the injectors, the little plastic tips, it fell into the head. So as you saw, we had to take off the intake manifold and that took so much time. Um, but luckily we got it done uh, all in one night and we just reinstalled it. And it looks, I mean, it looks the same because we just swapped the injectors, but at least we can knock that off the list. So thanks so much for watching this episode, guys. Sorry it was a little short. Uh, we just wanted to get all the fuel stuff done in one episode. So thanks again, guys. Goodbye. Except